explain the air fuel mixture requirement at different throttle operations. We know that in an SI engine, the stoichiometric air fuel ratio is 15 to 1. Have you ever wondered why we keep air fuel mixture varying between 7 to 1 and 20 to 1 instead of fixing it at 15 to 1? This is because we require different air fuel ratios at different throttle operations. Generally, throttle operation is divided into three ranges idling, cruising, and high power range. The graph of air fuel ratio versus throttle opening can be drawn as now let's try to understand why different air fuel ratio is required under different range of throttle operations. Idling range. Since the throttle is marginally opened during the idling range, therefore very less air comes into the engine which increases the amount of residual gases in the mixture. Also, due to less air coming in, there is a high drop in pressure inside the combustion chamber, which causes backflow of the residual gases. This dilution of fresh charge results into poor combustion. Thus, rich air fuel mixture is required to increase the probability of contact between air and fuel particles and thus improve combustion. Cruising range. Since the throttle is opened to around 50% during the cruising range, so the problem of charge dilution becomes insignificant. Thus, proper combustion takes place. Hence, it is desirable that in this range the carburetor provides the economic air fuel ratio, which results into a lean air fuel mixture. High power range. Since high power is required during high power range, therefore it is desirable for the carburetor to deliver the air fuel mixture which provides maximum power. Thus, during high power range, rich air fuel mixture is required to deliver high power. Now, let's summarize the mixture requirement at different throttle operations as 